Welcome to another SQL Server tutorial. Today we will connect our SQL Server database, to our SQL Server reporting services, and display live information, in a real-time report. We have already covered the SQL reporting services, installation, and configuration process, in our previous tutorial. So, let's begin our tutorial, without any further delay. Let's connect to our SQL Server, in SQL Server Management Studio. Let's create a new table named Sales, in our temporary database. In the first column, we will record, date and time. Then we will record sales made in our East store, as decimal. Then we will store any sales made in our West store, again in decimal. And in our North store too. Finally, any sales made in our South store, will be recorded accordingly. Let's execute this command, to create the SQL table. Refresh the database, to view the table. We can also use the select command, to view the table. Now, we will fill the table with random data. Create a while loop, with begin and end blocks. This is a never ending loop, because 1 is always equal to 1. Whenever, we want to stop this loop, we will have to stop it using the stop button, in SQL Server Management Studio. Let's add a delay of 1 second, to our while loop. We will add a delay in hour, minute, and second format. Now, let's enter random values, into the sales table, per second. First, enter the current date and time, using getDate function. Then enter a random number in each store's column, using the random function. Random function generates a random number between 0 and 1. We multiplied the random number to 5, to generate a bigger number, which can be between 0 and 5. Let's create a new paginated report. You need to open the report builder, to create a report, in SQL Server Reporting Services. Let's create a column chart. We will create a new data set. Enter the name for your new data set. Select the connection type. We will use SQL Server. Click on the Build button to create a connection string. Copy the name of SQL Server, from SQL Server Management Studio, and paste it in the SQL Server field. Select the database you want to use. Test the connection, and click OK. Click OK to close the data source window. Click Next. Add the table, or fields, you want to use in your report. Select a chart type for your report. Add the East, West, North and South fields, to the values area. We don't need anything in other areas for this report. Click on the Finish button, 
to close the new chart wizard. Go to the report builder, and remove the x-axis title. Add a title to your report, and any other adjustment you want. Save the report to your reporting server. Close the report builder, and go to the report server web portal. Refresh the portal to view your report. Now, you can view your chart, in the web portal. Now, this report is not live or real-time. To make it real-time, open it in Report Builder. Go to the View tab, and turn on the Properties. Here, in the Auto Refresh field, enter the refresh rate in seconds. Save the report, and close the report builder. Now the report is in real time, and you can confirm that, from changing update time below the report. Let's run our query, and see its results, in real time, on report server. And as you can see, our report is now updating in real time, and showing live information, from SQL Server database. This concludes, our today's tutorial. Thanks for watching. We hope you liked our tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials and updates.